Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my channel. We have another one here today to do. It's a pretty simple one. It's a HP 15 and uh, the model number is a G094SA. Uh, there are quite a few different types of HP 15 models uh, and this is uh, one that I don't see that much of. So all I have to do on this machine today is uh, install a new hard drive, and and uh, install the operating system and that's basically it so i'm just going to show you this video just about showing how to take the machine apart and install a new hard drive because i don't have access uh, to it any other way so i'll take the back off and if the screws are a different size i'd recommend making a template before you attempt to take the screws out and put them into the template so you know when you put the machine back together where the screws where the screws go uh, on this machine so far uh, the screws are the ex exactly the same size I don't know what's behind is there a cover there or is there something underneath this uh, there's nothing underneath here. I don't think. Oh, there is a screw there. So I haven't took one of these apart for a long time, so I wasn't. Uh, I couldn't remember whether there's a screw. So I just get some get a tool, get a screwdriver or something underneath there. Make sure you don't damage the plastic. And uh, it will reveal two screws. Take the screws out. Yeah, there's these two screws actually. Uh, the ones that go into the into these plates. If you look. Uh, Compared to the ones that go into the chassis, they are a different different size. So you've got the, I'll put one, so it's a bit of a better guide. So you've got one there, which is a long one, and the other one, which is, which is for the chassis. So you just remember those, there's only two. Uh, or use a template. So I'll we'll take this cover off, and that one should come out easily. Uh, make sure there's no screws there. I'm gonna pull the CD drive out. That will reveal, that has revealed two more screws. And for once, they're both there. Sometimes I, I open, machines, open machines up and they're not there. So that screw hasn't, uh, that screw's pretty much knackered now. So I'm going to get my other tool to. So I think the, the, the head's rounded now. Sometimes the electrical one is the, it's not exactly the right side, but it works most of the time. So yeah, that's out. And now I'm going to remove the keyboard. I'm sure. That's the way we can get access. Maybe get access to some of the screws underneath. So let's take this apart. I'm going to try and prise the keyboard out. Let's just, just put a tool on top of the keyboard, and you'll see that there's there's a, probably a clip there, and a couple down here, maybe on the side as well. And then you just just pop it out. So it's not that difficult. And make sure the screen's out of the way. You don't want to whack the screen. You can use other tools as well. I mean, sometimes these these are pretty good, but they they ain't the best. You know, they, sometimes they can break. And now you can just use your hands and uh, just carefully lift it up. See what's underneath. Make sure you don't damage any flexes. So just lift out the uh, the flex cable. You can use your nail or a screwdriver. It's pretty easy. That just comes out. And over here, uh, that is the power button flex there. This one. More than likely it goes to the, the mouse pad. That is the LCD connector. But as soon as we take these screws off, then the hard drive will be revealed. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take the, the screws out. That shouldn't take us too long. One thing I have forgot to do today is put my uh, my headphones on. Currently, it's using the, the mic of the phone. Uh, so that's no good. Uh, these screws again are slightly slimmer. So I'm going to put them on a different side. I'm going to put them over here for now. Um, I'm going to put my headphones on now while you guys will be on pause. Sound should be a little bit better now. Uh, now put the headphones on. So I just want to take out these sellotape. It's a bit strange. Let's just sellotape. Unless someone's opened it before, but. Let's pop these flexes out. So this is the, the power button flex. Make sure you just lift it slightly, get it from the motherboard. Get the 
mouse pad flex, take that out. And the the LCD flex can stay there. I don't think that will need to come out now. Uh, so the only way to get this this uh, palm, this is actually called a palm rest. So take the palm rest off. Uh, you see a little little gap at the side. I'm going to put this tool in there and just slowly prise out. Uh, don't go too deep. You just just have a little. You'll feel it. You'll feel the tension with the clips behind here. So as you can see, one side's almost already coming out. So the corners are a bit tricky. Make sure you don't mark any of the plastics. Uh, well, if it's your own machine, I suppose it doesn't matter. You don't really care. But if it's, uh, you know, somebody else's, just take, so that's that's revealed. There you go. Uh, so the hard drive is here. The customer has been complaining that the machine uh, has been running extremely slow, and uh, so I've done a quick diagnostic on it, and the hard drive for me is an issue. So um, we're going to go ahead and replace that now. So I think you've got there's a couple of screws here, one there, one there, and then that should just lift lift off, and we should be good to go. Usually you find a date on these machines. I mean that hard drive, December. I'll just show you that in a moment. But this is a very old hard drive, so it's approximately eight years old. It's had some good use. They've had some good use out of it. And being mechanical, I suppose it's you know just just take these screws out, lift off, lift the hard drive up slightly, make sure you don't bend the connector here. Just pop it out. There you go. I'm putting these two screws just there. I'm going to replace the hard drive now. So if you look at this this particular drive, you can see that the date is December 2014. That's well old. So pretty straightforward. There's two screws here. I'll take those screws off, pop them there, onto it, just leave them somewhere so you don't lose them, and that bracket will just come off. So I've got the new hard drive here. It's a, a brand, uh, it's by Crucial, it's a 500 gig hard drive. Uh, it's more than enough for what they need it for. I did ask them if they wanted a one terabyte, two terabyte, but said no, the one TB is absolutely fine. So, you know, there is something here, a like bracket. I've never seen that before, actually. Um, I don't know why. This, this, this one's got it. The other ones haven't. Uh, I forgot which way it goes in. That's what it goes in. Make sure you get the right way. This bracket goes in. I think it was underneath. So, yeah, I'll put the. It's already got the holes for it. So, that's pretty straightforward. The standard size, these two and a half inch SSDs. And uh, yeah, you know these we get these kind of machines in quite a regular on a regular basis. You know, some you've opened a hundred times, some you've never opened. So you've just got to mind how you go with some newer jobs that you're working on, so you don't damage anything. And especially if it's an expensive machine, you're kind of like, well, take it easy. So yeah, those the screws I I left just over here under where the CD drive goes. I've Actually, I didn't need to take the CD drive out, but I'll just take it out anyway, just in case there is something behind there that I'm not aware of. So, yeah, I mean, the machine looks fairly clean. I don't need to do anything on there. There's no flanders, flanders aren't blocked. Um, there was a bit of bit of dust here. I could, I could just blow that out with my, with my tool. I'll just grab that. Here's the tool. I mean, this is just a little handheld air pump. I have got an electrical compressor, which is pretty good at getting going into little nooks and crannies, so I'm just going to give it, you can see the dust flying out everywhere, so I'll just give it a quick, quick uh, blow out. There's dust everywhere actually, it is quite bad. I think that, that's enough for me for the moment. So I'm going to get the palm rest now and match it up to the, the chassis, and the back cover, as people like to call it. So that's, make sure it's all clipped in nicely. And then before I screw, um, screw it down, I'm just gonna put the flexes 
back into position. Make sure if you're using something sharp, I usually usually use plastic tweezers, uh, but they'll put it on another desk, so it's fine for now. Uh, yeah, if you want to use metal, then be careful you don't pierce the flex, because that can happen. I've had customers do their own repairs, and oh mate, you know what I did today? Doing this, and I pierced the flex. So, well, I'll have to get one in there. They don't know where to get bits and bobs from. Sometimes you know you can get them off the net, and sometimes you have suppliers, especially suppliers that I use. They have these kind of parts in. So yeah, there's, there's four screws there. The two holes there, they actually are for the keyboard. They'll come from the back. So if you look at the keyboard, you've got one screw there and one screw there. They're exactly for those two holes. And then just make sure uh, that you know you haven't damaged the flex before putting it in. Uh, put the flex in. You can hold it there, put it like that, and make sure it lines up correctly. Uh, you'll you'll know, you'll know. Uh, and then close the door, which is the door there. Make sure that's secure. And with this keyboard, it goes in from the bottom, from the bottom end here. Uh, it gets into because it's got these four guides. That's four guides. One, five actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, six guides. And just make sure that it's all lined up nicely. And just push it in on the sides. So make sure you don't pop the keys off. And you can you hear the you hear the clicks. There you go. There's that one as well. And just there. Just go around the whole machine because it always. These are a bit tricky. There you go, that's done. Now we're going to put the, the CD drive uh, in in a moment, but I want to get the, the two screws in that are behind the drive. That's one, and that's two. It's a nice, simple job today. I've got a few, I've got a PlayStation to do today, but quite a few of the jobs in. Come back from holiday, so I don't want to go crazy today. I'll do whatever I can, and the rest I'll do tomorrow. Pop that in there, pop the covers on, and pop that cover. I remember what I said when we were taking these out, there were two long screws, so that's one of the long ones. If the adhesive on the these bumpers have if the adhesive's not strong enough or it's come away, you can apply some double-sided tape and that'll be fine. But I think these are absolutely okay. Yeah, that's strong enough. And so is this one. That's fine. I'm gonna pop the screws on top and go around with my little electric one. I've got a, a wireless one on order actually, but I do like these. I've been using these for years and I think, well, do I need to buy anything else? Not really, but just for the sake of uh, making the YouTube videos, it might look a bit more aesthetically pleasing rather than having a wire hanging out, you know. And it looked pretty cool, the elaborate. It's got an LED light on it, so you can see what you're doing in the dark while you repair a laptop in the dark, but yeah. Or anything else for that matter. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. So that will be another job and if you like um, my videos and you want to get the latest ones that are uploaded please like and subscribe it supports the channel and keeps me going and, and kind of enthusiastic to, and more enthusiastic to keep the channel going um, it's all about views and that sort of stuff and, and you know at the end of the day hopefully it'll make me a little bit of money so that, that will keep me more interested but that's a another job done for today all I need to do now is put uh, the operating system onto the machine and give it a nice clean externally and hand it back to the customer. Thank you for watching.